All right, let's get started. I've got some wood fiber grow mats that I got from True Leaf Market, and I actually ordered a hundred of them. I originally had stated I was going to get 200, but I thought I should probably try them out before I get that many. And they're not what I expected. I hope they swell up when they get water on them because they're pretty thin. So we'll see about that. But I'm going to start with just do a, do a test of three of them and see what happens with that. A little bit excited. Patriots just kicked butt in their final game of the season. I know it was the Jets. The Jets really aren't that good, but Brady looked phenomenal. Got a brand new, nice Brady jersey for Christmas. Happy about that. So let's get started here. We got three trays. These have been sanitized. They're, uh, they don't look super clean, but they, they're clean enough. They've been bleached. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put one of these pads in each tray. This is the nutrient solution I'll be using today. Typically, you'd use this when something is starting to fruit after it's already flowered and you've got the growth you want. But it'll work great for what I'm doing. I'm just going to dump some in. Right on top of each mat. Let's see what happens. Then I'll just kind of work it around. See if it wicks it all up. It does feel like it's begun to swell up from the water. So I bought these from True Leaf Market. Link in the description because I'm an affiliate for them. But on their pictures, it looked like it was like fairly thick and the roots were really grown into it. And so that's kind of what I expected. And then when I took them out of the package and I had a hundred of them, the stack of a hundred was like that. And they're super thin and I was like, ah, I'm not sure I should have bought a hundred of those. I'm not sure if I'm going to like them, but they did swell up a bit. Although, oh yeah, they definitely swelled up quite a bit. Although the, they are very uh, brittle, once they get wet, they fall apart quite easy. So I'm glad that I chose to put them in the tray and, and get them wet then instead of soaking them and then trying to pick them up because I don't think that did pick up very well. Just going to add a little bit more nutrient solution in areas that are kind of dry. They definitely hold a lot of water, so that's good. One of you subscribers actually recommended these to me, and you know, usually when somebody recommends stuff, they're they're right. So I, that's why I wasn't too concerned with getting a hundred of them. And they said that they they broke down really well in their compost pile, and I can actually already tell that that's going to be the case because it's like a cellulose, you know, it's a wood fiber, so. I don't think it's going to have any trouble breaking down in my pile. And hopefully, I like it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use stuff that I I know for sure works great because I've done it many, many times. So this is some radish. This is just a red arrow radish. It's inexpensive. And it is very easy to grow. Uh, for anybody just starting out with microgreens, I highly suggest starting with radish because it's probably the easiest microgreen to grow. Definitely one of the top easy ones. So I'm going to do three tablespoons and I'm just going to sprinkle that on. You guys have seen this a million times. Not much to see here. These mats don't have a lot of strength once they get wet. So they tend to go in all the grooves of the tray. And because of that, it's really hard to get it really even. I think these mats would work a lot better in some sort of flat bottom tray. Uh, but we're going to just go with it because these are the trays we have. Now I'm going to use a basic salad mix. I'll just sprinkle that on this tray. I'm 
I'm gonna do two tablespoons of that basic salad mix here. It's very difficult to get it even because it bounce, they bounce when they hit these pads. It's not the same as soil, but it'll work. Just gonna place this tray here so you can see what I'm doing. My last tray is gonna be amaranth, one of my favorites. I try to grow amaranth pretty much every time I plant. Usually I'll grow more than one tray. Uh, it's just, it goes great in a mix and it's one of my favorites and it's a customer favorite as well. So I'm gonna do just under a tablespoon of the amaranth. And the amaranth being a small seed, it seems like it's not falling into the grooves as much as the other stuff. It's not bouncing around. So I'm able to get a little bit of an even, more even spread than I could on the uh, other two seeds I was just using. So I'm just going to mist everything with a water bottle with a important koozie on it. This koozie keeps all the winning inside the water bottle. And so that's what we're going to mist with. Just make sure these seeds are nice and wet. Now I'm going to stack the basic salad mix on top of the radish and then the amaranth on top of that. I'll put a, another tray over the top of this, blacked out upside down, and on the rack it will go. So I just want to take a minute and remind everybody that I have a Patreon account and I've been running giveaways through that account and if you want to get involved in that, head to patreon.com, Corey's Cave, uh, but link is in the description and in two days, I will be announcing the winner of this light. This is a active grow, grow light, perfect for microgreens. It's only 40 watts and it grows just perfect. So if you want to get in on that light, go check out Patreon and get involved and you'll be entered into all my giveaways. And there'll definitely be some really cool ones coming up. Actually, there's going to be a giveaway next month that every single Patreon is going to get a, a seed kit. So I'll share more on that later. So now we're going to get into soil. And this is not anything new, but I do have some new products to try out. I have some borage, which is a flower, but in the microgreens case, I'm not going to grow it to flowering. And it's supposed to taste like cucumber. So I thought that would be a really interesting thing to try out. I have some Romaine lettuce, Cimarron, yeah, Cimarron, and uh, I'm going to try that out. I'm going to actually plant that really light because I'm going to try to grow it to a baby green. That's going to be for me. That's not going to be something I, I try to sell. Then I have some sunflower, black oil sunflower seeds. Nothing new here. You guys have seen this a million times. I'm going to plant mine dry. I just do that. You can soak them and probably get marginally better results, but I get pretty re good results planting them dry. Uh, John Philblade, if you're watching this, you'll be very happy to know I took my five pound bag and I figured out that 200 grams fit perfectly in my Gen Pack 16 ounce clamshells. So these are 16 fluid ounce, but they hold 200 grams of sunflowers perfectly so I took and I did that with the whole five pounds and I ended up with 11 and a half trays worth of sunflower seeds. And the reason that he would like that so much is that he cringes when he watches me just willy nilly plant stuff because he's very OCD about this sort of thing. And I'm really not. The reason I did this is that I've had problems with mice in the, in the past trying to get my sunflower. And so I wanted to make sure they were in a nice sealed package. And I didn't have a big enough package to hold the five pounds. And these worked out great. I'll put a link in the description where you can get these clamshells on Amazon. Because that, for some reason, has been a really common question lately. People write to me all the time asking, where can I get the clamshells? So I'm just going to spread these around. Again, this is 200 grams. It cost me right around, I want to say $36 for a five pound bag. And 
each tray has a value if you harvested that tray and put it in clamshells. Each tray has a value of approximately $48. That's a pound of sunflower shoots out of a tray. So set this aside. That's a pound of sunflower shoots per tray. And if you package that up, that's worth about $48 if you got $6 per container. So you can do the math on that. I said I get 11 and a half uh, trays per five pound bag, which was approximately $36. At $48 a tray packaged, that's worth about $550 from that, uh, that $36 in seed. Of course, there's about a dollar per tray of soil. And then there's also, you know, the light if you're, if you're growing indoors and just maintenance cost and, you know, delivering it or packaging time. I'm not saying that that $550 is profit, but that $550 is basically the product you're going to get out of a five pound bag. So next I'm going to do the borage. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right or not. I usually mess that stuff up. And I have no idea what the seed even looks like because I haven't opened it yet and I've never grown it before. And it's big seed. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Let's see if I can get some of this out and show you. See that? So I am going to do... Jeez, I don't know. I'll do three tablespoons. Three pretty good sized tablespoons. Don't know anything about this crop other than it's a flower and it it tastes like uh, cucumber. But I'm gonna go ahead and grow some. I have no idea how it's supposed to be grown. I'm just gonna wing it. I like to just experiment. If it works out, it works out and I'll know for the next time how to change things. So I'm just going to wet those down really well. I've already watered in these trays of soil so that they're pretty wet. Now for my romaine lettuce. We all know what lettuce seed looks like. It's really small. I'm going to use just about a third of a tablespoon. And I'm going to very lightly and evenly coat the tray. I don't want it too clumped up. Because like I said, I want to grow this to a baby stage. This is probably too much seed, actually. Even a third of a tablespoon. That's that. Now I'm going to stack the borage on top of the sunflower. And then the lettuce on top of that. Give it a nice winning little spritz. Spritz for the win. And this will go on the rack with a upside down tray blacked out on it. Now, if you're interested in my giveaways, make sure you check out the Patreon page. You know, you don't have to, no pressure, but I give away some really cool stuff. I probably don't even make any money on any of it with all the shipping and everything and all the work I do to obtain the products. But anyways, give that a shot. Check it out. If you want to see how the grow mats worked out, make sure you check back in next week, about seven days from now. Go ahead and, and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notification and you'll see how those grow mats worked out, the, the nice wood fiber mats. And I'll let you know whether or not I liked them. So with that being said, thanks for watching guys. Really appreciate you. Happy New Year to everybody. There'll be a new video on New Year's Day where I give away that grow light. And yeah, that's it. Thank you.